So as I already mentioned, the general form of a complex number, the general form is A plus B I. This is a number plus some number times that thing that mathematicians made up called I. Okay. So let's do a couple problems and see where we can go. Let's say we had a complex number, 3 plus 2i, and we were going to add it to another complex number, negative 5 plus 4i. And I was going to add those two uh, complex numbers together. How can I do that? Well, remember if you have, I'm giving you a sub example here to illustrate what I'm talking about. If you have 2x plus y, and you're going to add that to 3x plus y, how could you do that? Well, you should know how to do that. You add the like terms. 2x plus 3x is 5x. y plus y is 2y. You know from your algebra that you can't do anything more with this because you've got some multiple of x, some multiple of y, and you just can't add those anymore. They're different things, okay? What I'm trying to point out to you is the complex numbers is, is no different than the knowledge you already have. This is a like term with this. This 2i is a like term with the 4i. So in that context, you can kind of treat the i almost like a variable, almost. So when you're adding complex numbers, 3 plus uh, negative 5 is going to be negative 2 plus, this is a like term with this, 2i plus 4i is 6i. And that's the answer to that problem. And you normally write the, the real part first and the imaginary part second, just like we have it here. Okay? So when you're adding, you add the real part and you get a number. You add the imaginary part and you get a number. Okay? Let's do another one. Let's say we have 7 minus 3 minus 7i. So this is just a number 7. And this is a complex number, 3 minus 7i. One thing I want to point out to you, this number 7... This is sort of an aside here. This number 7 is really 7 plus 0i. In fact, every number you ever, you've ever known up until now has always been that number plus 0i. If we're talking about a fraction, it's 3 fourths plus 0i. If it doesn't have an imaginary part, which is all the numbers up until now we've known, uh, they have a 0i tacked on to the end. So this is just 7 plus 0i. So in order to add this, these complex numbers, I've got to add like terms. This is a real number. This is a real number. I can add them together. But before we do that, I want to simplify this a little bit. I want to distribute this negative 1 here that I have sitting out kind of in like this. So I'm going to have 7 minus 3, negative 1 times 3 negative, is negative 3, plus 7i. Negative 1 times negative 7i gives me positive 7i. And then finally, I just add the real numbers together. 7 minus 3 gives me 4. And then I still have my plus 7i left over. And I can't do anything more with this because now I have a real part. I have an imaginary part. And I can't, um, I can't add them anymore. So this would be the answer. Okay. So you can see this stuff isn't really hard. You have a complex number and you just add the real parts. You add the imaginary parts.